Today, I show you how to make a plains farm that is safe from death squitos, fuelings, and every other disgusting thing in the plains. Ladies and gentlemen, muffins, Bluetooth speakers, and Shaolin monks. Welcome to another Timo Red Beer video. Today, we're talking about how to make a farm completely safe in the plains so that you can portal out there and handle your crops without ever having to worry about fuelings and death squeezos and loxes trampling all over. Easy. If you do like this video, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to caress that cr cr notification bell. <laughs> Let's crack straight into it. So to begin with, you're going to need to find yourself an island, a little peninsula or small island that is of the plains biome. And that's where you're going to want to start. Once you've got your island, you can start planning out the home. Well, farm. There was a rock on my island, so I decided I'd hollow it out and make that my little uh, farming shack. Then you're going to want to flatten out an area large enough for the farm that you desire. And, you know, make it look good. Come on, make it high enough so that the water isn't constantly flooding over your farm. Because I'm an idiot and always forget to change the time of day when I'm recording, here's a bit of a nighttime segment of me placing down workbenches all across the island so that nothing can spawn on the island. This is a very, very important part of the build. If you don't have workbenches covering the entire surface of the plains island that you're building on, then death squitos and fuelings and loxes will spawn. Then it defeats the entire object of building on an island. Now, for defenses, I thought about going for stone, but then realized, well, what's the point? The majority of the defenses are in the fact that the land is terraformed quite steeply. So, let's go for spike walls and palisade. Easy enough. And let's fast forward through this bit, Tim. Uh, no one wants to watch you place down a bunch of spike walls and palisade. Oh, hey, look. I remembered what the time of day console command was. <laughs> Amazing. Right, let's get these palisades down. Double time. While you're being absolutely enamored by this very fast rendition of me placing down palisade walls, I wanted you guys to know that I'm starting up a series soon called Pimp My Base. If you feel like you've got a base that you think would be awesome if it was pimped, then let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Give me a bit of a description about your base. And if I pick you, then I'll be getting in contact. I'll be getting you to send me your save file and then I'll be pimping it for you. Now, this will just not do. Look, we have this gorgeous wall surrounding our terraformed area ready for farming. And, and, and then look, it's just, it's a stone platform with a half broken rock and a portal and a half like that. Uh, let's build a farming shack. You know, this uh, this one time at Bandcamp, you press the subscribe button on this channel. Come on, Tim. It's, it's not that hard to place a door correctly. Come on. A bear walked into the bar and said, I'll have a beer, please. Bartender said, sure, coming up. 
Why the big pause? Here's a little fun fact for you. I think you're really, really great. I do. It's true. No? No, I do. Look, I, I know I've never met you before, but I still think you're great. You're worth it. If you do have any feedback about the channel please do chuck it down in the comment section below i'd really appreciate it and uh you know only weirdos don't press the thumbs up button just say oh my goodness he's only gone and done it he's actually managed to finish the farming shack in record time quality quality play there by tim gonna have to find out how he ups it the next one. Oh, he's getting the cultivator out it looks like he's preparing the ground ready for planting So there you have it, folks. A plains farm that is safe from death squitos, fuelings, locks, etc. Accessible by portal, and it doesn't look half bad. Remember the golden rules. Make sure that the landmass, the entire landmass that you build on, is covered in workbenches to prevent any kinds of spawns. Make sure that your farm is terraformed up high enough so that the water isn't coming over and that's not just for aesthetics it means that any fuelings from the local plains areas across the way or something that wander by and might not try and swim across the channel and get up to you or even if they do they won't be able to if you have enjoyed this video please hit that like button consider subscribing and don't forget to caress that notification bell i do stream on twitch from tuesday through to saturday starting at 12 p.m gmt i'd love to catch you there links in the description also in the description is the patreon link if you want to support me further please do go check it out i'd really appreciate it get yourself credited in the opening credits also in the, in the description is the discord come join it be a part of the community fantastic community ever growing thank you so much as always i've been timo redbeard peace out Take care.